welcome to Watch You Want, and thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at the Roger Dubuis Sympathy Bi-Retrograde Perpetual Calendar, 38 millimeters wide and 18 karat rose gold. This Bi-Retrograde Perpetual Calendar Moon Face is, like all the watches featured on our YouTube channel, actual inventory in stock and available for immediate purchase and delivery on our retail website, watchyouwant.com. And if you like getting the latest news, views, and reviews of luxury watches in daily video format, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want, Inc. Now you may be wondering, what is it that the watchmaker wears? If you have your name on the dial, and you can have anything from your own catalog, what do you wear from your catalog? Well, if you're Roger Dubuis of the eponymous brand, you wear this. Roger Dubuis has been spotted wearing a virtually identical reference of the early Sympathy by retrograde perpetual calendar moon phase on his own wrist so given infinite choice and remember he's back with the company now so we can draw from the current catalog as well he's chosen this 38 millimeter by 10.5 millimeter thick 48 millimeter lug to lug 18 karat rose gold watch now you can see on my wrist six and a third inches 16 centimeters in circumference the wear the fit ergonomics excellent this is a perfect size for a normal sized human wrist and it perfectly exhibits Roger Dubuis' early philosophy of building what could be con considered a modern watch in traditional proportions. Now you can see that there's nothing conservative about the flared, pulled, swollen, and exaggerated flanks of this watch with gorgeous, beautiful screw-fixed lugs, contrasting finish, pointed sapphire crystal. And yes, the sapphire does fit the form of the case, but while it is an exuberant form, it's not an outlandish size, and that's key to retaining the Geneva tradition of elegance that Roger Dubuis sought to uphold. Now, he was for years a complication specialist with Patek Philippe, also an antique restorer and a sort of hired gun complications developer within the industry. So when he sought to create his own watch line, he wanted to incorporate as many of these elements as possible, breaking new ground while still respecting the traditions of his education, his upbringing in the industry. And the Sympathy by Retrograde Perpetual definitely accomplishes that. Once again, because it's only 10.5 millimeters thick and less than 50 millimeters lug to lug, it's not a Geneva giant. What it is, however, is a unique portrayal of the perpetual calendar complication. Now, a by retrograde, so the date and the day, featuring retrograding skeletonized heat blued hands, you can also see the month at 12 o'clock with an integrated leap year indicator, and then at 6 o'clock, a moon phase, beautiful and a gorgeous contrast with the white enamel dial. That's right, white enamel. Now, traditional elements blend with the unconventional here. You can see the Geneva seal blazon unconventionally on the dial, juxtaposed to a unique form-fitting railroad or train track sort of chaptering around the exterior. Now, it is a 60-minute scale, but in most unconventional form. This is the earliest version of the Roger Dubuis Sympathy Perpetual Calendar. You can tell this, first of all, because of the 38 millimeter size, and second, because of the form-fitting sapphire crystal. Now, this element, in particular, proved so difficult to manufacture that not long after, Roger Dubuis' manufacture reverted to using a shaped case, yes, but a circular crystal. These early examples are the most sought by Roger Dubuis enthusiasts and also the most exquisite examples of the Roger Dubuis manufacturer's workmanship. Now, other highlight elements of this dial include the faceted, and you can sort of see them glinting in the light at this angle, but the faceted applied rose gold hour markers, one discrete four-sided index at each station of the hour. It adds a little bit of a twinkle, a little bit of a glitter to that gloss deep, almost wet looking enamel dial. All of the printing, all of the indications are gorgeous and there's just enough color standing out in the red minute scale, in the blued hands, in those gorgeous rose gold alpha hands at center. I really like the choice of alpha over the heavier dauphine hands. That particular element really sets off the dial, anchors it at center, but doesn't obscure the indications unduly or place too much visual mass at center. This is a very nicely balanced watch. Now, for those who are new to the Roger Dubuis brand, it's worth mentioning that Roger Dubuis is back with the house bearing his name today. 
Since 2011, he's served as a sort of mentor to the young watchmakers within the company and a global ambassador for the brand. And it's worth mentioning, again, that this is the watch he chooses to wear himself, given an infinite choice from the current catalog. And Richemont's blessing, he nevertheless favors this particular model because it so judiciously blends the essential elements of traditional Geneva haute de gamme watchmaking with this modern, expressive, exuberant, and even a little bit avant-garde case form. Now the finish is something that deserves to be highlighted. I'm going to hold it a little further away from the camera to try to get better focus. Because you can see from the side, this double-stepped bezel, beautifully contoured, has tremendous character, and it's accentuated by a contrasting finish. Now vertically brushed along its flanks, it is polished on the bezel, and also polished on the hoods of the lugs. The lugs have tremendous character, visual presence, and they read as a separate, distinct, sculpted element. Polished on the top, brushed on their sides, fixed with screws, the more expensive and robust way of assembling a lug and fixing a strap to a case, it's nevertheless the way Roger Dubuis has traditionally preferred to build its watches. Slows down the production process, but allows the quality to be built in and this beautiful watch to remain wonderfully secure on the wrist. Now the clasp, before I get into the movement in the case back, the clasp is up to the standard of the rest of the watch. Rose gold, in beautiful condition, this Roger Dubuis clasp is as sculptural a beauty as the case itself. Alternately traditional and a little bit modern flamboyant and a little bit neo-vintage, neo one might say. Almost a bit of an exaggeration of the past, embodied in a wholly modern timepiece. Clasp, strap, case, and movement. This is the kind of movement that begs closer scrutiny. Now it's the RD5707, so based on the ultra-thin Breguet, or Breguet La Magna, I should say, 8815 automatic winding caliber. The basic movement itself is only about two and a half millimeters thick. Roger Dubuis then adds the retrograde, the moon phase, the perpetual calendar functions to it. All told, 30 jewels and elaborated to Geneva seal standards of finish. So the pleasure you can take in owning this watch is twofold from a movement perspective. First and foremost, watchmaking on this level, this level of intricacy, complication is exceptionally rare. Even in the modern day and age of CNC milled, computer designed high complications, having something completely hand finished to achieve what this watch does remains remarkable. And being finished to Geneva seal standards, Roger Dubuis manufacturer really makes this watch its own. Now the basic La Magna 8815 looks very little like this. Well, you can see some of the essential elements. The rotor at center, the dual mainspring barrels, the escapement cock, or the balance cock, I should say. The bottom line is that with the Geneva seal standard of finish, every piece of this movement is the product of blood, sweat, tears, and lots of time spent looking through a loop. Beautiful black polished swan's neck regulator for fine adjustment also secures the watch against variation when shocked so that index slowing or speeding up the balance can't be essentially accidentally moved or dislodged by vibration on the wrist. You can see the Cote de Genève linear on the winding rotor with that gorgeous stylized Roger Dubuis logo cut out in rose gold and you can see matching, matching linear Cote de Genève on the winding system bridge as well as the barrel bridge itself. Gorgeous, even, tightly spaced perlage around the exterior on the base plate. And when I talk about black polish on elements like the screw heads or the swan's neck and the regulating assembly, what I'm talking about is the highest standard of optical finish. And you can see it as I move through the light, it alternately glints and then turns quite dark. The idea being that as smooth as it is, it only reflects light in one direction and appears almost a dark gray or black from any other angle, hence the term poly noir or black polish. Now other elements emblematic of Geneva seal finishing are evident in abundance. The screw sinks, the jewel sinks, beautifully polished, the anglage, the actual hand finishing and polishing of the edge of each bridge is gorgeous. You can see the glinting mirrored shine here on this movement, the various elements being polished such that even examined under a loop, they hold up under scrutiny. This is hand finishing at a micro machine level, and it's a pleasure to encounter in the flesh, or I should say, in the metal. This Roger Dubuis Sympathy by Retrograde Perpetual Calendar, 38 millimeters in 18 karat rose gold, 
embodies a gorgeous ju uh, junction or union of the best of Geneva watchmaking past with progressive ideas that have helped to lead us to where we are in high horology in the field of independent brand horology today. Roger Dubuis, back with the company, like I said, could have anything he wanted, but I've got to say, evidence suggests, and the photos don't lie, that this Roger Dubuis Sympathy by Retrograde Perpetual is the watch he wants.